Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm gonna make a video on change the oil on my L130 John Deere mower. It's approximately 10 or 11 years old. I think you're supposed to change it about every 75 hours. I may be a little bit over on that, but the um, oil drain area on this L130 is right here right next to the oil filter which I'm going to change also I got my oil filter at a local farm store um, I'm getting it from John Deere of course and um, this is uh, John Deere GY 2577 it's what this replaces but um, anyway, so I've got my oil pan kind of wedged under. Um, I still got my mower deck on. I'm going to leave it on for the winter to give me extra weight. I put my um, 40 inch snow blade on. I've got videos on how to put that on. I also got videos on how to take off the uh, mower deck if you're interested I'll put links for those in this video I've also done an oil change video but I didn't actually show draining the oil on that one uh, I did it after the fact and just showed the basics of where to do it and so forth so this one's going to actually be um, draining it and removing the filter to give you a little more insight on that this is a fuel filter right here which I haven't replaced need to probably do that something it's on my list took me a while the first time I changed it all on this unit to figure out this end cap on this drain hole or drain pipe it's actually just a plastic um, cap and it's got a groove in it and notches and you just literally line it up and then pull it off it's not screwed on or anything which is kind of interesting like so and we're draining the oil It has a notch in it on both sides. It works. You would be a little aware of that keeping the oil in the engine, but it does. Oil looks pretty black. It was definitely time to change it, probably past time. I've had comments on some John Deere operators that they they never change the oil and they've had their John Deere's forever they just keep replenishing I don't believe in that I think you can change the oil too soon also okay, it's trying to spill over the back you might want to have a rag underneath which I do just for that I'm going to replace the filter also. It's had a little leakage around it maybe. It's pretty dirty. Obviously you want to make sure your engine's hot to warm so the oil drains completely. There it is. Getting some drainage from it. Pretty simple operation. This is a WS485 filter.
main South Korea. So we'll let this finish draining and then you just simply reverse the procedure obviously. Um, you replenish the oil on the other side on this unit right here. Looks pretty clean I think. Here's the new oil filter. WS485. Tells you to lightly oil the gasket and then turn three quarters to one turn after it makes contact with the base. Put a little bit of oil on it. So it seals properly. Screw it on tight. Cleaned up a bit. Put it over the little piece sticking out. Okay, that looks like it's good and tight. Got the oil filler stick out. Ready to put in the new oil right here. And last time I did this, it took about one and a half quarts, I noted. I'm putting in 10W40. That works pretty well for this area west of St. Louis in the Midwest as far as temperature ranges go. Of course you're generally going to use your more more in hot and warm weather but I will be using it some in the winter so I want to be a little uh, concerned about the lower temperatures but in general, you're going to use it more in warm weather. So we're ready to put the fresh oil in and uh, using a fairly good size funnel here. And you want to pour it at a reasonable rate, depending on how large the hole size is on your funnel. But if you pour it too fast, you'll overflow. So anyway, it's just a matter of pouring in the oil. Uh, pour it in maybe a half quart at a time to make sure you don't overdo it because if you overflow it then you're going to have to drain some out or you just put it in. Okay, so I finished filling it. Of course you have to check the level of the oil. Don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm uh, pretty close to the full mark. And after you run the engine for a while, uh, check it again because the uh, oil filter and the various components of the engine may absorb some oil and uh, so just check it again maybe after the first couple times you, you use it I'll be using mine to blade snow possibly tomorrow night and um, after I do a little bit of that I'll check it and see if it's okay but anyway that's um, the way you change the oil it's a pretty simple procedure similar to changing the oil on a car if you've ever done it 
so that's all for now. old john, signing off.